tonight, a community forum held by the state to hear from the public about their experiences with traffic enforcement and feelings towards specific traffic laws. NBC 5's Tyler Boronski was at that meeting tonight. He joins us live in Heinsburg with more on what was discussed. Tyler? Yeah, Alice, well, last year, Vermont's legislator passed an act that requires them to look at all motor vehicle violations each year to determine whether certain laws need to be adjusted. They were able to hear from community members on what they would like to see change. From getting pulled over for texting and driving. A first offense texting and driving violation um, is not $250 and five points. I don't even know that a second or third violation is that much, um, which is all pointless because it didn't even happen. To monitoring <laughs> exhaust noise levels in neighborhoods. Noise impacts on people who live on roads like mine is terrible for our health. <coughs> Kate Littlefield and Lorraine Zaloom were part of a community discussion of what they would like to see change in traffic laws in Vermont. Paul Ravelin with the Vermont State Police's Traffic Safety Program says there are a lot of outside factors that makes it difficult to enforce certain laws. I hear a car go by me and I feel that it's exceeding the 95 decibels and I pull them over on the side of the road. I can't test that in the setting that it was tested at to see if it was legal or not because I am now taking ambient noise from wildlife, from passing motorists, from my car. So there are some things that are impeding us to actually enforce that. And while some laws are hard to enforce, hearing from the community is the first step to look into problems and come up with solutions. Traffic statutes that should be maybe repealed, modified, or made secondary. Neighbors say they appreciate the chance to share their concerns to state leaders, but says there's a lot of work that needs to be done to see real change. Vermont has always been a leader in terms of protecting your residents, and I'm hoping that we're Gathering enough evidence to do serious work around this. Now the state plans to hold four more of these sessions throughout the month. The next date is set for October 11th. However, the location is still to be determined. Now to keep up with the latest on the details surrounding the next meeting, we have that link on where you can find that information on our website, mynbc5.com. We're live in Heinsburg tonight. Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.